Florida Gators have landed yet another commitment, this time from Jacksonville native, the Bulls High School, Jack Pyburn. He is rated as an edge defender or defensive end, a pass rusher, however you want to think about that. Uh, six foot three, 265 pounds, uh, an 88 rated three star, 441 in the nation, and number 36 uh, at his position. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you all right now, I haven't started digging into the video yet. I think he's extremely underrated. He didn't have huge offers uh, outside of Auburn and Miami, which obviously right there, those are big offers. But outside of them, it seems like he was a little undervalued by most people. I'm not sure why. I couldn't tell you for sure, but uh, all I know is Florida fans should be very happy that Billy Napier and his staff decided to come in there last second and, and steal one from either the Tigers or the Hurricanes. Uh, you know, he is rated an edge. I do believe factoring in his his height, weight, um, I mean, you can look at his profile picture there. You, his neck is wider than his head, so uh, that's kind of a sign that, that – He's gonna be. He's gonna continue to grow. Probably. He's a big kid, so I could definitely see him being a you know three tech, D lineman, something along those lines, defensive tackle for more basic terminology. I, I definitely see him playing with his hands down. I don't see him being an edge pass rusher. It's possible, uh, and they could have said that in his articles uh, that they were recruiting him as an edge rusher. I haven't really read into his articles. Uh, but I see him more as a down lineman, just based off of the information that I have. I'm far from an expert, so do with that what you will. Uh, but I will say, he has an awesome highlight tape, and I'm going to turn it on right now and talk about it as we go. Uh, and after that, we will dive into his analysis in, on his commitment to Florida. Look at that, 109 tackles and 15 sacks in 11 games. Uh, it's pretty dang good. There you see him. Watch when he gets up from this hit. This kid is hype. You can tell he loves this game. He likes being good at football. He's going to come in here and be that 110% relentless effort kind of guy that Napier and his staff are going to absolutely love. I can tell you just from watching his highlights already and, and just seeing it here with the strip sack, he's not going to be scared of anybody. He's going to be one of these guys that comes in here probably is going to be taking on seniors this freshman season and putting his heart and soul into it all he is extremely aggressive uh he's very strong i mean he's 265 pounds but he's built you know pretty well built he's not you don't i mean he looks like you know he's he's extremely athletic there he is chasing down a quarterback or a running back sorry i missed that one um looks like you know, he, he looks just extremely well built, doesn't have any kind of fat it looks like. I mean, sure, he's not 0% body fat, but either way, I mean, you, you catch my drift. For being 265 pounds, he has an extremely impressive frame. There's another really good play. Coming off the edge, stopping the run, getting up, celebrating a little bit. And, I, you know, you love to see that, especially from a defender, man. Like, you like these guys that just have this motor excited every time they make a play. He is, you know, he's just one of those guys you can tell. He, I don't want to say he's a loose cannon, but he likes hitting people. He enjoys it. And he's going to make these kind of plays at Florida. I don't know how quick, but I can tell you for sure, and we'll dive into it after uh, the video. I can tell you I think he's going to start eventually one of these days, and I think he's going to be really good. Here he comes dipping inside. You can see he's pretty fast, too. He is far from stiff. Uh, maybe he doesn't have the best hand uses. As you can see, he goes in there and crashes into the guy with his... can easily get caught up coming in there and crashing in with your shoulder like that, leaving your hands down. Uh, but he is so strong uh, that it, it really doesn't matter against these, these types of players he's going against. But... At the next level, he'll have to work on it, but you know, hand hand technique and all that, it's extremely simple to teach. It's just repetition. That's pretty good. He drove him back there a little bit. That was a good play to shut off of him and make the stop and the tackle. And I really like how he plays linebacker, too. 
There he is in coverage, and then he's going to close the gap. I mean, he's pretty athletic. There's no questioning it. I, I guess I can go back on my word a little bit. I mean, it's possible he plays edge, but can you imagine him on the inside if he gains another 20 pounds? I mean, he could absolutely wreak havoc, uh, especially on pass rushing downs. I mean, you can put him out on the edge on, on rundowns. He would be an excellent uh, edge run stuffer. Then you put him on the inside on pass rushing downs, and he's going to wreak havoc. Here he goes, not letting the quarterback get to the outside. Once again, excellent closing speed, not getting beat to the outside. It's a good jump. Just I didn't even remotely get blocked there. Timed up the snap very well there. And just once again, just making tackle after tackle on this highlight tape. We're getting to the end of it, and if it's going to freeze on me, this might be the end of it. So that way we can get into the analysis. Like I said in the last video, I'm not trying to keep these things going for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it may be. Uh, trying to keep them down a little bit, and I know I like to talk, so we'll cut it off right there. Uh, either way, um, however long I go, I can tell you that Mr. Jack Pyburn right here, I think he's going to play... At Florida quickly. I don't know if it's going to be his freshman season. You know, if it's kickoff return, he seems like one of them crazy guys that's going to go in there completely unafraid to go in there and bust some heads. Could definitely envision that. Um, or, you know, whether or not a sophomore, junior season, whatever. But either way, I think he is going to be an excellent player for the Gators. Okay, let's look at the position. Um, I'm going to do it a little different this time just because, like I said, I don't know for sure if he's an edge or a defensive lineman, uh, you know, whether that be three-tech or five-tech. So we'll look at both positions. Uh, I actually, I'm going to go ahead and say I rated him as a defensive lineman, so that's why um, probably why this position bumped up a little bit. Uh, but according to these numbers here at our projected scores at each position here in 2022, right here, uh, down column BB, uh, and edge is actually at a negative 0.73. So we're looking somewhere around at eight on a need scale at that position. Actually, I'm sorry. It's a seven at an, on a need position at edge. So that's a pretty high need. And then a defensive line, we're actually it's one of our better positions. Uh, it's our third highest position behind safety and linebacker. So the defense is starting to come along. It's definitely a good a good uh, good view here into into 2022 for Patrick Tony to get that defense going. Uh, so maybe he does start off as an edge. I thought our edges were a little better off than that, but uh, either way. Uh, whether that's a defensive lineman or an edge or you're bouncing back and forth between both. Uh, I mean, it's all kind of arbitrary. He's going to be a contributor at some point. Now let's go look at those defensive linemen and edge players on our current roster. Hopefully we can get some updated rosters here in the coming months to kind of update this, get rid of all the red guys. Uh, at defensive line... It's kind of hard to break it down, but I pretend like there's three defensive line starters and one edge. I mean, you could – it's it's hard. It really is hard to break it down because you could consider him an outside linebacker, yada, yada, yada. Um, but Brenton Cox is definitely the starter at edge. He came back, no doubt about it, no questions asked. Unless unless he gets his position moved uh, to maybe like a five-tech defensive end, I'm not sure. Uh, he is a starter, without a doubt. Uh, Gervon Dexter, without a doubt, a starter. And then things get a little fuzzy because uh, we lost uh, Car Zach Carter. Uh, you know, we lost uh, Antonio Valentino, Daquan Newkirk, all those guys that were upperclassmen. We lost all of them. So it'll be interesting to see who takes over. For now, I have Jalen Lee and Prince, uh, Prince Lee Yu. I have them both and slotted in to start next season. And, you know, that's a guess. Uh, it could very well be Desmond Watson. Uh, you know, he could be a starter on rushdowns, all six foot five, 400 pounds of him. Goodness gracious. 
Uh, Dante Xanders decided to come back. He has the most experience. Um, who else do we got over here on the D-line? Justice Boone was only a freshman. I liked his tape a lot. Uh, but anybody else on here? Uh, no, I would say I like Pyburn better than most of these other guys. Uh, Chris Thomas is at a, you know, he's at more of a nose tackle. So they wouldn't be competing for the same position. Um, and on the edge, after Cox, I really like Antoine Powell. I don't know what the latest is on him, but I think he was just way too low rated because of his injury in high school. I think he is going to be an absolute force in the future for Florida. Uh, David Reese, I have no idea what's going on with him. Lloyd Somerall, I think he's bounced back and forth in the transfer portal. Uh, so I'd probably put him at third at edge. Uh, no, David Reese would probably be above him if he's still around. So third or fourth uh, at edge. And probably, I mean, he could push second string. I don't see him being above Jalen Humphreys. He'd probably be third string at, at either position. Uh, either way, I think he's going to move up quick, though. I uh, like him a lot. Big get, especially uh, for depth. Uh, you know, I've seen our defensive line has not been great the past few years. So, I think he's going to be a difference maker. Let's go look at him on our Gatorade or Big Board. Here's all our commitments. There's a few guys. I don't know if anybody's noticed. I'm behind probably three commits, but got a little time after work. I went ahead and decided to take Pyburn on since he had just committed to the good guys. Uh, and it just so happens that he is the highest rated guy that's committed to us recently, according to my board. And we'll look at why right now. Um, in terms of a talent score, he is rated 441 in the nation again. Like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, he gets a 5 in the talent score. So it's kind of an average score. Uh, position and need, he gets a 7 uh, for a defensive line. I think that would have been maybe even higher for edge, like I said. So he could have had a higher score. Uh, proximity, he's from Jacksonville. He gets a 10. I don't know what just happened. Go away. Sorry. Uh, he gets a 10 uh, since he's right down the road from Gainesville. And then Impact, which again is, is my flavor added into the formula. I may have gave him a little bump here. I gave him a 6. Uh, I would have gone a little higher if not for a little bias. I liked his video a lot. I could have gone 7, but I went a 6. Uh, so he gets an overall score of a 6.3. And... That ranks him as, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He is our 12th rated commit out of 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. So he's 12th out of 21. Uh, personally, I think he probably should be higher. Uh, but then again, we're looking at guys ranked above him. Uh, I guess that's pretty fair. Him and Jamari Lyons are pretty similar to me. Uh, lines obviously is a lot bigger, but uh, either way, I mean, I like th this is an excellent take uh, by Napier, Tony, and the staff. I think he's going to be an immediate contributor. I love the fact he grew up a Florida fan. Uh, he's gonna, he's going to be busting heads out there. He he just gives off that vibe on his tape that he is not going to be scared of anybody. It seems like he's going to have a big personality, and he's going to be one of those wild men on the field. So overall, once again. Jack Pyburn committed to the Florida Gators from Jacksonville, Florida. Let's keep that pipeline going in Jacksonville. And let's keep getting more commits. Uh, I think some will probably come come down tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, some some big-time guys possibly committing tomorrow. So let's see what Napier and staff can finish up the 2022 class with. Until then, if you like and subscribe, I would appreciate it very much. And go Gators.